We didn't solve Colorado's air pollution problem by staying home for a while, but we are giving scientists an opportunity to study an unprecedented changed environment to figure out what other than our cars is polluting our air. Here's Anusha Roy. So we all ran in to uh, turn on our instruments. And Jessica Gilman with NOAA collected data around the clock in Boulder during this last month and found some sources of pollution dropped by half during the pandemic, mostly connected to cars. The state found the same story. Decreases of anywhere from 10 to 50 percent for all pollutants. But while cars started disappearing from the road, pollution still stuck around. Researchers realized they had a unique window to study the next layer of the problem. Got my <laughs> hand lotion, my hand sanitizer that I carry with me everywhere, uh, paint, coatings, adhesives, shampoo. All of those can be sources of something called volatile organic compounds or VOCs that could eventually mix with outside air. When VOCs interact with other pollutants and the sun, that can add to the ozone problem. Researchers know people are using these products, but with less car pollution, they now have the chance to study them more closely. And it also makes it that much easier to actually understand the contribution of that one particular source these consumer products can have on air quality. This goes beyond just lotions and shampoos. It includes understanding how much pollution comes from construction and changes as the oil and gas industry feels the impact of low prices. The activity in that industry uh, is decreasing very fast. That could change the makeup of the air pollution. But what can you actually do with data pulled from an extraordinary time like this? It's not something we hope to repeat. It tests scientists understanding of where pollution comes from and gives a sneak peek into the future. And that would be if we continue to do te more telework than we're doing and or electrify our vehicle fleets. So that ultimately helps researchers, right, figure out if these strategies would even be effective. And at the end of the day, they're just like you and me, right? They're, they're using hand sanitizer more, the same home products, but they're just trying to understand if and how much this is contributing to the issue and if there could be more environmentally, product, environmentally friendly products out there for people to use. You know, Anusha, I, I think I'd love to think that that some good came out of the economic pain that everybody had, that there might be some long term impact from what happened. Yeah, when you look at the pollution that dropped, that's more of a short term impact, right, just based off of what was happening. The one thing the state did say was that when it comes to pollution from industrial activities, things like wildfire smoke, it can actually travel a really far distance and can stick around for days, if not weeks. So if we start to see that go down around the globe, we could start seeing a longer term impact from that, Kyle. All right. Anush Roy, thank you so much. See you next week.